your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Darling, your coffee's all cold. You really are wifely this morning. David, do you realize we've been married almost four months? Do you think we look married? Well, certainly we look married. I mean, do you think a stranger would look at us and say, those two are married? <laughs> Any old stranger would. What's the matter? Don't you want to look married? Mm, I guess so. You only guess so? Well, I mean, you read all sorts of things about how a wife should keep her husband guessing and act as if she isn't his wife and... You don't believe in all that sort of stuff, do you? No, I don't. Do you? Of course not. It's a, it's a lot of balderdash. So I look just like a wife. You do? And you look like just... A husband? Well, it's harder to tell with a man. Oh, I see. What do you see? Uh, nothing. Now, look, don't get any ideas. You're not much, but you're good enough for me, just the way you are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And the fact that you look married is nothing to sneeze at. After all, you're going to be a mother. Who's sneezing? You know, I'd rather be married and live with you and have a baby than not be married at all. That's comforting. I even like it when you act like a husband. I'm glad. I, I aim to please. Say, sometimes you act like too much like a husband and not enough like... <laughs> like... Like what? Like not a husband. Oh, that reminds me. Yes? I've filled out the report for the insurance company about that accident you had last Friday, so mm -hmm. that takes care of that. If the insurance company calls, you just tell them to get in touch with me at the office, right? All right. I don't mind talking to them. No, I'll handle it. Well, if you insist. But you're just being like a husband about it. No other man would be bothered. Here's the form now. You have to sign it before I can send it in. Doesn't Mr. Uh, Grant have to send in a report, too? Certainly he does. Here, now, you sign right down there. Mm. Right there. Now, I'm on my way to the office. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't I get a kiss? A kiss? Oh, yes, a kiss. Here. That kiss was awfully married, too. No, answer that. Why don't you, you lazy old dog? <laughs> Can't you see I'm darning like a good wife? Shakespeare, what about you, you crazy cat? <laughs> Honestly, nobody moves around this house but me. Hello? Oh, hello, David. I'm fine. When did you get back from Redbury? Did you have a nice day? Good. How's the car? Did you get a ticket? Well, you know you don't get along as well with cops as I do, but I love you anyway. Yes, lots. That's good. Oh, darling, there's the doorbell. How do I know who it is? Probably some gentleman caller, but I don't know which. <laughs> of course I'll give him your love. Goodbye, husband. What? You'll be right home? Wonderful. Goodbye. I'm coming. Bluff, don't you even bark. You're a fine watchdog, you are. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Grant. I was afraid you weren't home. I'm home. So I see. My good luck is holding out. I was on the telephone. I was How's talking to... How's your mother? To... Mama, she's fine. And the dog? Bluff, he's fine, too. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm sorry I haven't asked you to come in. Please come in, Mr. Grant. You remembered my name. I'm I'm very flattered. Please don't be. I was just signing the accident report this morning, so it reminded me. Oh. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, that's why I dropped in. Well, do sit down. You might as well since you're here. Shakespeare, get off the good chair. Let Mr. Grant sit there. Oh, oh don't disturb him. I'll, I'll sit down over here. 
Uh, for the record, my name is Jim Grant, you know. Oh? Uh, well, that's my name. Mm. Yes. Uh, hiya, boy. Hiya, dog. How you doing, huh? How are you, boy? Um... Oh, what? yes, yes. Uh, now about this report to the insurance company. I, I forgot the other day to take the license plate of your car. Oh, you can't take it. We need it. Well, I, I just want to borrow the numbers so I can write them down on this form. Oh, I see, I see. Well, have you got them? No, I haven't. You haven't? No. The license plates are on the car, and the car is somewhere between Well, that, and... that's, that's wonderful. That's the best news yet. What is? Well... Uh, just that now I've got another absolutely legitimate reason to come up and visit you. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm very grateful to you for that smash-up. You are? Well, would I be sitting here if you hadn't banged into me? No, I guess you wouldn't be. It, it was a very lucky accident. Probably fate. I haven't met anybody like you in New York. I've met lots of girls, but nobody like you. Well, don't you want me to sign that insurance report? Well, there's no point to it, as long as you don't have the registration or license number. Well, they'll be here any minute. Well, they, they will? Look, I don't want you to think that now, I... Now, look, look here. I, I saw right away you weren't uh, that kind of girl. I'm not picking you up. I never picked up anyone. But you see, I well, say, am... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're, you're not engaged, are you? No, I'm not engaged. Well, I as am... long as you're not officially engaged, my bid is in. All's fair in love and war. Don't I look married to you? Married? Well, what would I be doing here if I thought you looked married? Oh, then I don't. Anything but you look... You look wonderful. Well, can't you look married and wonderful? I suppose so, but I, I think marriage always shows. You do? How? Well, it's, it's nothing in particular. Particular, just something a man feels. Mm. Uh, instinct, I guess you'd call it. Claudia, I... may may I call you Claudia? I, I've met your mother, you know. Don't you think she'd approve of me as a gentleman caller? You see, I don't... The doorbell. Do you want me to answer? No, I'll go. Look, I have to tell you... Well, whoever it is wants to get in very badly. Yes, I, I'm here. First, I well, must don't you tell answer you. the doorbell around here? Oh, all right, I'm coming. If you won't let me in, I'll just have to let myself in. David! Is the lady of the house home? I'm home. Miss Claudia, it's your gentleman caller. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm, I'm in the way. It's too late. I, I've come a-courting with some poses for the woman I love. Hello, David. Hello, honey. Well, Hello. Good afternoon. David, this is Mr. I'm Jim Grant. Glad to meet you. I, I look like the first of a long line. Well, honey, you all's having a busy afternoon, huh? David, please be serious. Claudia, uh, would you rather I stayed or uh, I went? Oh, for heaven's sakes, don't go because of me, Mr. Grant. Jim, please don't pay any attention to him. He's not that southern usually. Oh, oh he... Uh... He isn't? You're happy to? No, no, I just want to come to call on my young lady here. Oh, oh, I, I, I see. David, will you be sensible? <laughs> Mr. Grant, <laughs> this uh, young woman here is already spoken for. Yeah. As a matter of fact, and uh, this may be something of a blow to you, I know it is to me, Claudia is uh, married. It's true. I tried to tell you, but you seem so sure I Ma wasn't that I... Married? Well, you didn't look... Well, in that case, Mr., uh, Mr., uh... Norton. Mr. Norton, how come that you... Norton! That's right. I'm the lucky man. Well, well, I'll be, I... I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. I wouldn't have come in like that. Oh, please, please, please don't, don't apologize. It's I who Oh, not at all. I understand Claudia bumped into your car and pretty well wrecked it. Well, it, 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 it's not that serious. I think you're being very nice about it. I would have been furious. Well, there's no point in getting angry. And Claudia, I, I, I mean, Mrs. Norton seemed so <laughs> upset. That... Well, at any rate, I've reported to my insurance company. We made out the forms this morning. And as soon as you make your claim, it'll, it'll all be settled. 
Well, certainly, of course. <laughs> I, uh, I, I hope you didn't mind my coming up here today. Nobody minds my saying something. David, Mr. Grant came up here for me to sign something or other. His report or something. Darling, you don't have to sign his, you see. You signed yours this morning. Well, frankly, Mr. Norton, I couldn't think of a better reason to come up here. And... That was, uh, that was before I knew. Of course. You know, Mr. Grant, I look at you and I can say, there, but for the grace of me, go I. David, you're not making sense. <laughs> Certainly I am. You know what I mean, don't you, Mr. Grant? I, uh, I think I do. After all, there's not much difference between taking a cinder out of a girl's eye on a street corner and having a girl crash into your car in a parking lot, is there? No, no, no not, not much difference. Except that, uh, in this case, the, uh, the cinder came first. My point? Exactly. Well, I was lucky for you. I, uh, I guess I'll make a point from now on of walking the streets when the cinders are flying. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Norton. And, uh, it's been nice meeting you, Mr. Norton. All the luck in the world to you. And don't think I'm not going to need it. Goodbye, Jim. And, Jim. Yes? When you find that girl with a cinder in her eye, bring her up to visit us. I will. I'd love to. I'll remember the invitation. Mr. Norton, your wife is quite a girl. Quite a girl. Very beautiful, too. Goodbye. Darling, you do run into the nicest people. You're not angry, David? No. Aren't you even jealous? No, just flattered. It's not every husband who has a wife other men want. He thinks you're beautiful and attractive and... Ah, oh, the poor devil. I don't care what he thinks. What do you think? Do I have to tell you, darling? It's nice to hear, David. For a future mother, it's almost indecent the way you look. But how do I look? Come here. Come over here and sit down on the sofa, and I'll tell you. Oh, David, that kiss wasn't as if we were married at all. Oh, it made me feel like a wicked woman. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Marketing takes more time than it used to, and a little more headwork, too, if you're trying to keep within a budget. But the daily chore will be less of a bore if you look for the familiar red cooler and pause there for ice-cold Coca-Cola. Spend five minutes and five cents, and you'll finish your marketing refreshed. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir, and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola, for ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause... The pause that refreshes. <laughs>